Hello everyone. So as you know, we are moving with the module number three, that is technical communication. In the previous video, we have covered the topic negotiation skill. As we have discussed there, today we are going to end the module number three, that is technical communication. Today we are going to cover last two topics, that is critical thinking and creative thinking. Let's have a look on the critical thinking. What is critical thinking? The process of objective analysis and evaluation of an idea or a situation in order to form a judgment is called critical thinking. Here you have to think critically because you have to analyze the problem, you have to evaluate an idea and you have to give the solution. Who generally have this critical thinking? The engineer or you may have say, uh, say the manager of the organization have to face this critical thinking. By thinking critically, we do not have a careful examination of different aspects of the issue with a good amount of reasoning and evidence. Here, in the critical thinking, the goal is not to accept or the reject, but rather to evaluate the entire issue objectively. Here, you have to analyze the problem objectively. While doing critical thinking, we do not get emotional and weight each point judicially. So while having critical thinking, you have to have you have to be patient and give the judgment judicially. We are involved in the critical thinking in our daily as well as the professional life. We use critical thinking ability when we are reasoning, when we evaluate the problem, problem solving, analyzing and making the decisions. In all this situation, we are facing the critical thinking. All of this are of the great importance in our work life and so the critical thinking is important for one's success. So this is all about the critical thinking where you have to analyze the problem, evaluation of the ideas or the situation and give your solution judicially. Now let's have a look on the six critical thinking skills. There are many skills but we are going to look the six critical thinking skills that we have to master in. The first is the identification. The first step in the critical thinking process is to identify the situation or the problem as well as the factor that may influence it. The first step of many thinking, not the critical thinking, as soon as you have a question arise in the organization, you have to first identify the problem. Who are influencing it that you have to, you must know. Once you have a clear picture of the situation and the people, group or the factors that may be influenced, you can then begin to give the deeper into the questions and the potential solutions. So the first step is the identification. Second is the research. Now you have to research about the problems, the surroundings that affect that problem. You have to do that. When comparing arguments about an issue, independent research ability is the key. Arguments are meant to be a persuasive. That means the facts and the figures presented in that factor might be lacking in the context or come from the questionary sources. The best way to combat this is the independent verification. Find the source of the information and evaluate. You have to find the source independently. You have to verify independently by your own and evaluate the problem. The second, you have to research about the problem. Third is identifying biases. These skills can be ex exceedingly difficult as even the smartest among us can fail to recognize the biases. Strong critical thinkers do their best to evaluate the information objectively. Think of yourself as a judge in that you want to evaluate the claims of both the sides of the argument. But you will also need to keep in mind the biases each side from the processes. So you have to think and it is extremely difficult that to recognize the biases. Fourth is in inference. The ability to in infer and draw conclusion based on the information presented to you is another important skill for, ma for the skill for the mastering of the critical thinking. Yes, information doesn't always come with a summary that spells out that it means. You will often need to assess the information given and draw conclusion based upon the raw data. So the fourth step is to interfere. Fifth is determining the relevance. 
one of the most challenging part of thinking critically during the challenging scenario is figuring out what information is the most important for your considerations in many scenarios you will be presented with information that may seem important but it may pan out the only a minor data point to consider sixth is curiosity it's incredibly easy to sit back and take the everything presented to you at the face value but that can also be also received for the disaster when faced with a scenario that requires critical thinking it's true that we are all naturally curious just ask to your parents or just ask the small children parents then continuously that what children ask why questions what questions this questions they ask frequently as we get older or as that child get older it become easier to get in the habit of keeping that impulse to ask the question at b but that's not a winning approach for the critical thinking so last point that we have to master in is the curiosity this is all about the critical thinking also there are many advantages of critical thinking why we are doing critical thinking so there are also an advantages it leads to the creativity as soon as you start thinking critically there is a habit of creativity in your mind it helps in seeing every aspects with objectively leading to a successful decision and actions it improves your comprehension skills also it gives you a wide horizon of thoughts and helps to introspect everything wide horizon of thoughts as we have said the when you go to the evaluation of the problem you have to research and this research makes your thoughts becomes horizon the wide range it helps you to focus on facts and evidence rather than the opinions it enhances your communication with everyone around you as you are the person who sees things objectively and based on facts so these are the advantages of the critical thinking now let's move to the last topic of the module number 3 that is creative thinking this phrase we have thought or we have heard that thinking out of the box this is the first phrase you have to think while thinking about the creative thinking thinking out of the box is the mantra for success these days being able to think different from other or thinking creatively creativity is very important nowadays the inventions innovations and the solution in the world are all product of creative thinking but every day inventions are not possible so why everyone needs to think creatively we have discussed what is creative thinking but why why everyone needs to think creatively the first step is you have to challenge yourself creative thinking means challenging yourself but let's first understand what is thinking out of the box what is this box means this box means the boundary built in our mind beyond which there is unknown a risk a fear that no one will agree this boundary is built due to the various factors which are these factors means genetic environment people around us and their thoughts our own experience and the knowledge that we gain as a student where we learn only the thoughts and the inventions of others now you have to invent where in the student life we are always heard about the inventions of the earth all this information makes a boundary now why should we get out of this box why why we have to think out of the box because we have to think creatively and this is only this only makes us out from the crowd make sure being creative does not mean being weird but it means thinking divergent also how to think creatively we have discussed what is creative thinking but how we think this once you have decided to go out of the box just try to go far and discover as many alternatives as possible you have to discover more and more you have to go in depth to that problem and you have to think creative be open minded this is the first point that you have to be open minded you have to be curious you have to accept everything and from that you have to choose which makes you different don't look for the correct answer because it takes you back to the existing thoughts 
as you will try to weight all your new alternatives in context with existing ideas. Assess the value of new idea as this is an undiscovered territory. So these are the points which you have to keep in mind while you have to think creatively. These are the last two topics of the third module, the critical thinking and the creative thinking. So in this module, we have covered various important topics of the total subject effective technical communication. We have first started with the public speaking, various other topics, skills, various skills. That means negotiation skills, interview skills, which quality we are evalu evaluated in the interview skills. Also, we have covered the presentation strategies, negotiation skills. Today, we have covered the critical and creative thinking. In this module, there are more important topics and the next module we are going to cover in the upcoming videos. Thank you.